Hello and welcome to a Dragon PME tutorial. Right, um, I just thought uh, as a response to somebody um, I'd quickly do a tutorial on flash disks, flash drives, memory drives, memory stick drive things. They have a million names, pen drives, um, memory key, anyway, them little, you know, little doody bobs you plug in the USB and you get about a gigabyte of data or maybe more depending on what you bought or maybe less depending on how long you've had it. Right, so I'm just going to shove mine in, there we go, USB port, and my Mac hopefully should make it appear on the desktop. There we go, and it has appeared on the desktop. Okay, so as you can see, I've called it PME. Ah, look, another rhyme, as you can see, I called it PME. Anyway, so um, this is a memory stick that I use at university, which have PCs, um, Windows XP. Um, I use it downstairs on my Windows XP machine and I use it here on my Mac OS X machine. So the, the, it swaps from machine, machine to ma machine to machine all the time um, for both video and um, what other stuff for, for picture editing and for documents and stuff like that. So here's an array of stuff I have. I have video evaluation dot doc. So use, those of you who know this is a document. Um, made in Microsoft Word. Um, ODT is an open source, um, it, not open source, open office document. Um, same here, uh, Microsoft Word document, uh, JPEG pictures and MP3s, stuff like that. So, uh, let's say you've done a radio evaluation like I have and you want to open it on your Mac. Um, what do you do? Simply drag it and drop it onto your text edit or you, if you want to um, open text edit in the spotlight and it'll do a quick search of your computer and you go to the top hit text edit voila and we have this you can quickly drag and drop that into text edit and nope sorry you don't want to do that you want to drag it onto um, your text edit in the dock silly me my mistake um, and it should open um, your video evaluation look at that over the course of the semester, I feel that in radio sessions and the whole lot. Now, pictures and things do not uh, display in this. It's not very advanced at all. Um, it's quite crappy, actually, if I'm honest. So, if you feel rich and expensive, note, don't save, you perhaps should buy uh, applications. I'll just, um, Microsoft Office which I'm, I'm just going to hunt down on my desktop somewhere, not desktop, on my machine. Maybe I should have typed it in a spotlight, would have been quicker. So Microsoft Word. Uh, you should be able to open all of these document files pretty swiftly, pretty easily and effectively. So Microsoft Word works. I tell you that. It does work. So it's just opening there. Um, we won't cancel that. Just cancel. See, Microsoft Word has opened. I'll just close this and go back to... Oh, where did it go? Oh, well, never mind. There it is. Um, radio evaluation. Drag it and drop it onto Microsoft Word. And boom, it has opened again. And you see that this document has all kinds of um, like headers and footers and things that you didn't actually see in the, the Mac thingamajig. Okay, so yes, they open. And yes, you can save them using Microsoft Word. So that's how you would save that type of document on the other hand however let's say you don't want microsoft word yeah you've done this or whatever i do recommend that you use um neo office which is an um open office type editor which you can save as dot doc which is this um in fact i'll try and find that open office dot org now this might take a while to load I'm not sure. And as you can see, we have OpenOffice and the X11, which you may have to install to run it, um, which is on your Mac OS X installation CD. Um, please don't be put off by the slowness of my machine. It's not the best system of things. Um, I've seen OpenOffice open instantaneously um, on other Macs. 
um, because they have dual core and all this rubbish that I don't, just simply don't have. So I can type a document here. Drag on, hear me. There we go. File, save as. Just like a normal uh, PC version of OpenOffice. And we're going to save it where? On the desktop. As um, drag on, hear me. Dot. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Microsoft Word document dot doc. Save. And voila. Um, your documents have been saved and there it is on the desktop to be opened either in open office or in text edit drag and pay me see easy as pie and this uh, the memory stick did not have to be formatted in any special way um, you plug it in and it works um, you take it out and take it to a PC and it just see, still works see in the program files here I actually do have MSN um, dot uh, ex, uh, that's not the exe file, but I do have the exe version. There it is. Um, this is actually a PC application, but it's just sitting there dormant because you can't use it. In fact, if I double click it, uh, sorry, I can't open it. That's why viruses and things don't work because they just can't open it. Um, so that's how I would handle my documents um, for typing things um, like evaluations and things like that um, ooh, what else it would it would uh, all be the same with um, Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint and all that jazz uh, it's very easy nothing complicated um, it's if you were to transfer things to your memory stick it's a simple drag and drop and voila if you want to delete it drag to the trash and don't forget to empty the trash, otherwise it won't be deleted. Um, pictures and things are just fine. Nothing at all complex whatsoever. Nothing at all. So uh, I've, hopefully you've learned something. Um, text, ooh, text file. A nice script here, not very, not formatted, but you know. So yeah. That's how I would handle my work things, um, both video and text. Uh, I hope you've learned something. I hope I haven't bored you to death. I do apologize for my system being a little bit slow, but I am running a very slow Mac, which I try to stress all the time. It's a very slow Mac for today's standards. Um, not as responsive. Nine Ooh, nine o'clock. Not as responsive as any other Mac of today's standard. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've learned something. Uh, have I hope you've? Uh, yeah, one last thing. Um, if you want to uh, pull out the 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 memory stick, do you know? Um, sometimes you have to go down to add and remove hardware things in the bottom right hand corner beside the dot, the clock for PC. Um, for Mac, you just simply click your drive and press eject when it disappears off the desktop it is safe to remove so I'm just gonna go and remove that now and ta -da. there we go I hope you've learned something I hope um, this tutorial has been of a help of trying to explain how I um, juggle documents about on a, using a, a memory stick um, nothing too complex you don't have to format it in any special way you don't have to give it an OSX tab, although I must admit when I take this memory stick to a PC and plug it in, um, I notice files that are called dot .trash and some other like semi-transparent files that uh, are hidden um, do appear, which kind of, you can delete them, it doesn't matter, nothing uh, nothing will happen really, but they, they just get annoying sometimes, apart from that things are pretty much dandy and fine. Um, so yeah, again, for the fourth or fifth time, I hope you've learned something and I hope I've been a use, uh, I've been useful and I hope you've understood what I've said. Please, if you don't understand me, um, leave a comment. If you want me to do anything, leave a comment. If you want me to sing a song, leave a comment and I probably won't. <laughs> Thought you said I will, didn't you? Anyway, uh, thanks for listening and I'll see you uh, um, next time.